All right, guys, so I got the uh, accessory set for uh, the mummy. Uh, this one I was just kind of wait for a while because it was, I think it was $50. Um, and uh, eventually I seen it at a Target and it was down to 40 And then it was, um, I think they had like a 25% off coupon or something like that. So I ended up getting it for about 30 So I was like, okay, I'll bite the bullet with that. Um, but also too, like I'd never actually opened this figure. So this is the old one that came out. Um, I think the new one they released, uh, was black and white or something, but I don't see why the color would be like that. I don't know. Um, so I was going to open this too. Um, I'm not necessarily do a review on it, but you know, the main focus is this and just seeing how it would look. But, um, so as far as I know, it just comes with like a backdrop. The, uh, it's, I don't forget the name of it. Safo, no, it's off, I guess. It's, I don't know. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. It's like a coffin, whatever. And then it comes with like this um, box. I don't know my stuff like that. Um, so you get some product shots on the back of the box, which is basically him coming out of the tomb, opening this box, and you know, all this stuff too. Um, it looks like I've seen, I think it was copy or something, like doing this for like that box there in the corner is this box so apparently like you can take this box here and put it in <clears throat> here as well so um but that's pretty much all there is to it uh so i'm gonna crack it all open uh see how it looks and you know just kind of go from there all right so i get everything out um <clears throat> this is pretty much all you get you get this cardboard uh back display uh, the tomb and then this treasure chest. Um, so this is actually like a pretty thick piece of cardboard. Um, it's okay. Like it's, you know, better than just like, you know, uh, thinking like when the Naked Turtles two packs come out, there's always like some kind of backdrop back there. Uh, so it's a little better than that. Um, you saw that they kind of fold it in for just to kind of stand because that has some weight to it and some height. So it just kind of offsets it. Um, but it's not bad. Um, so I, I may just go without it, to be honest, whenever I have it displayed. So here's the box here. Um, and basically, like, you have to put this piece here opposite of this to, uh, for the close right. Because basically there's not, like, a thing for it. It just kind of goes against it or something. I don't know. At least it did for me. Like, I can kind of feel it, like... I don't know, cracking or something, but I, I felt like this would just go there, but it's just not. So, you knew that's a issue or what, or whatever it may be. So, but anyway, um, and yeah, this box does come in there or goes in there just fine. Um, I don't think this box, oh, it has something in it. Oh, shit. Uh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Just some hieroglyphics. I feel like this should have been rolled up or something, like uh, one of those scrolls or something. But you know, I guess it's just very treasure's been there for you know ages or whatever it may be. But um, it's pretty cool. So that does fit in there just fine, almost perfect. Um, let's see. And then here's the tomb itself. So it is really well done. Um, you know, there's space art everywhere, stuff here in the back. Um, you know, got a little scratch there, here and there. But, like, some more interaction looks pretty good on it. Um, so, there's, like, that red wash here, too. Just some of that. Um, pretty much what you see is what you get. It is pretty solid. Um, so, I went and put the mummy in there, too. And I just kind of took them out of the package and put them in there. Um, added these little draws just to kind of add a little... A little character to it, I guess. Um, but I mean, he fits there just fine. Like, I didn't have to like squeeze the toes together or anything like that. They just seem to go in pretty good. Um, and this is basically how I looked out of the package, so I just kind of took them out and threw them in here. Um, this thing's pretty solid. Like, um, it's got like a hefty lid, like, the lid almost weighs as much as the bottom piece. Whenever you put them on, you know, you get like a, a firm close. And he can stand up just fine. You know, he can lay it down just fine. 
Um, so I think that's really cool. I mean, overall, I think this is really neat. I don't think it's worth 50 bucks though. Like I feel like, like to me, like the, the figures themselves are like 30 to $35 now. Um, so charging more than that just seems a little bit outrageous to me. Um, from what I've seen with like the Frankenstein one, it's got a lot more to it. Um, this is mainly just the cardboard cutout and these two, uh, display pieces, which are really well done. But, um, you know, I, I think 50 is way too much. Uh, for what I paid for 30 with a discount and everything, I think it was, I think it was a pretty good deal. So, um, probably hang on to it and, um, put it on display and kind of added to my horror collection, um, which I don't really have much. I just got like some, I'm not a big, I'm not really into like NECA horror figures that much. I just kind of glaze over them. But like, um, I do have some of the classic monsters like the Wolfman and Frankenstein and Mummy. And I think I've got like um, an old Evil Dead Ash, like Evil Dead 2 or, two or something like that. So, uh, but anyways, um, so yeah. That is my review and thanks for watching.